A werewolf without a wolf is like a human without a soul. After Dad died, I lost the only family that loved me. My existence is like a nasty joke made by the moon goddess. I really doubt if I really belong here until, for the first time, Olivia invited me to this party. Is my wish to the moon goddess answered tonight? Army kindly invited you to this party and you showed up so disrespectfully. What a slap in the face to Beta Howard. Hope you learn shit happens when you keep coming in between me and Arthur. What's going on here? It's all good, Dad. We'll just um taking good care of uh, Arthur's sister. Vesper, look at yourself. Your father would be ashamed. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> you wanna play games? You're dead. Ali is Arthur's girlfriend, okay? That makes her future Luna of the Starshine Pack. How dare you assault her? You really think you could kill me? You will go smash. <laughs> You're so sure of yourself, Olivia. I know my brother. He's not serious about you. You're just a fling. How dare you? Ollie, you can teach her a lesson another time. Your parents are here right now. Don't you dare let my little Artie know about this, okay? I'll make your life a living hell, okay? Let's go, lady. Time to party. <laughs> Somebody, please. What's just happened? It's me, Indigo. I'm your wolf and pal from now on. I just healed your arm, and you'll feel great again with just a nap. So I'm not wolfless? Where have you been? Don't you think I deserve a thank you, at least? <laughs> Anyways, your mate will be here soon. He'll be the first person you see when you open your eyes again. What? What do you mean? Wait! Vess, are you all right? Vess. Arthur, my brother, and my mate. You must be joking. Vess, moon goddesses never make mistakes. I can feel Arthur's wolf. He's yelping and leaping happily. Mind if I ask who you expected to be your mate, if not me? How can my mate be my own brother? It's mate mark. Us being mates is sealed by the moon goddess now. There's no escaping divine destiny, sis. Sorry to terrify you, but the truth hurts and I can't tell. Divine destiny has thrust itself upon us and neither of us has choice. Vesper, you are late again. You should have already served us dinner by now. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll do it now. Call her Lona Beatrice. Yes, I'll do it all. Lona Beatrice, I'm sorry. Did I say you could touch my plate with your dirty hands? You ruined my favorite dish. <laughs> oh, you've been an Amigo maid for four years and you're still such a klutz. Vesper Williamson, you make a mistake again, and I'll evict you and make you a rogue. You just do it now. You're too easy on this ungrateful brat. She will never learn, will you? At this point, I'd be grateful. I'm sick and tired of your shit. If I hadn't promised dead on his Enough. deathbed. Mom, we all know what a beautiful, merciful loon you are. Why don't you just let her off this time? Oh, here you go. The stoop's so low as to beg for an Omega. Just when I thought you couldn't get any worse than idling around the house all day doing nothing. How my brother fathered a son like you baffles me. Isn't it great that my idleness brings out exactly how well you run this pack, Uncle DePaul? I'm sure that's how you replace father as Alpha. Fair and square, huh? Martha, what the hell is wrong with you? You apologize to Alpha DePaul.
This mate thing must be a joke from the moon goddess, right, Mr. Mailbox? Oh, what a stupid party tonight. And to think that Arthur Dirk stood with the bullies against me. Hey, sis. Good morning. It's from Olivia. It's for you. Are you going to that party tonight? What party? I never got an invitation. She's willing to dress me up? I'm not sure. Dear Vass, please take this as a gesture of apology for everything. I'm looking forward to being your BFF. Don't be shy. Join us tonight in my place. I expect you to shine in this. Your Olivia. Oh, you poor, poor girl. You should have known better than to trust that Olivia. But I'm sure it has nothing to do with our mate. He just gave it to you. Go away. You know nothing. Wait, where are you going? And who is Mr. Mailbox? Be quiet! If I knew having a werewolf would be so annoying, I never would have prayed for one. You've been talking all night. And you didn't reply. And trust me, someone is watching you somewhere. I can feel it. Is she going to that place again? Come on, Bess, please, please tell me who this Mr. Mailbox is. It's not like you have a secret boyfriend. This is Mr. Mailbox, not my secret boyfriend. That's Jackson. When I was 18 and I was a wolfless girl, I thought nobody would love me, but Jackson gave me love. But you still have family. It's not like you must have a boyfriend. I had family. When my dad died four years ago, my life's been a living hell ever since. Rumor has it that Uncle DePaul killed him to be alpha. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but I have an announcement to make. Victor handpicked me to take his position as alpha before he died. You are all welcome to my coronation. Even if that's true, it's father's funeral today. Don't you think that's a little fast? Isn't this my lovely niece? I hear it'll be your 18th birthday soon. Well, here's an early birthday gift. From now on, you have no place to talk here, Omega. Thank you all for coming to my coronation. The celebration doesn't end here. Beatrice and me will host our wedding in three days. Beatrice, you traitor! How can you do that to my father? His body isn't even cold yet. Don't be such a child. This is only the Game of Thrones. I'll be a good Omega. Maybe I'll give you a raise. Vesper Williamson is a jinx, reincarnated from a witch. Look at the color of her skin and her hair. She doesn't even have a wolf yet. It is the curse of this freak that killed our great Alpha Victor. But we will pardon her and allow her to stay in the pack house as a maid to redeem her sins. Who is it? I've been meaning to leave this place even if it makes me a rogue. That's why I've been saving up. I've been up all night and I need to get some sleep. Goodbye, Mr. Mailbox. Let go of Vess. I'd trade my life for hers. I guess it's the last time we'll drink together. Arthur! Why do I keep having the same nightmare about Arthur? Mate bond. Vess. She's thinking of me. Jackson! I miss you so much. Art? Arthur? 